Hello, welcome back. So this is gonna be a quick little video. I just wanted to do a video just focusing on wing liner because I feel like in my videos that's a part where I'm like just do it really quick. So I wanted to do just a dedicated video on my wing liner, which I asked in my last video as well and a lot of you wanted it, so here it is. So we're just gonna jump into it. I just wanna show you how I do my liner. I do it like a little bit differently. I start with my wing and then do the rest. I just found that with trial and error over the years of trying different ways to do eyeliner, this way seems to be the easiest, it seems to work. I don't know if it's my eye shape, I don't know if it's just how I do it, I don't know what it is, but it just seems to work a whole lot better for me. So I'm gonna show you how I do my wing liner. Because I always use like a felt tip liner like this. Every time I have a wing liner on, 99% of the time it's gonna be done with a felt tip liner. And by the way, if you can't do wing liner, Honestly, it's just practice. I couldn't do wing liner for years. Like, I can't even express that how much I could not do a wing liner. I tried and I tried and I failed. Quite often, pretty much all the time I failed. Even when I started working at MAC, I still was not able to do a wing liner. That I was just like, I need to be able to do it. So I, we, we would sit down like almost every day and I would practice to do a wing liner on myself and other people. I just really wanted to be able to do it. So I forced myself to do it all the time. And finally, one day it worked. <laughs> so if you're someone who can't do a wing liner and you wanna be able to do it, trust me, keep practicing. The more you practice, the better you'll get at it. Watch different videos and see how other people do it as well. You might get little like tips and tricks on how they do it. So that's why I wanted to make this video. So if you are someone who has been struggling with eyeliner, you can try my technique and it might work for you. Hopefully it does. My favorite liners would be the Tartius liner from Tarte. It's a double-ended one. I never ever use this end. I think it's like a, it's a twist up black coal pencil on that which I don't think I've ever used, but I always just use the felt tip pen. This is one that never ever dries out on me. I also like the Benefit Roller Liner. This comes in black and brown. I have used both and they both look really nice on. What I like about these pencils is that they're liquidy enough that it's easy to kind of glide on the eye, but they're not as wet as a liquid liner. I fucking hate liquid liner. Don't even get me started. I can't, they're too wet. The minute I open my eye, it's like boom. No, hate it, hate it, hate it. So that's what I like about the consistency of a felt tip liner pen. I used to think these were a joke. For some reason, I just hated felt tip liner pens until I started to use them and realized how easy they are. They are so easy. So I'm gonna use my tartiest liner today. So on this eye, I'm just gonna talk you through how I do it. And on this eye, I'm gonna show you how to do a wing liner using a pencil, like a coal pencil. So I'm just gonna draw the base of my line and I'm gonna start here at the corner of my eye and kind of just drag it out towards the temple. So this is my base. This is gonna be a long wing. I got a little bit carried away with myself. And then what I like to do is get to the, almost to the end of the tail. And I like to just drag this all the way back in to my lash line. So what I like to do then is tidy off this line here on the outer part of the wing. And you can just really take your time with it. You don't have to be in a rush. Don't wear wing liner if you are in a rush. Let me just tell you that. For a start, do not do that because you will stress your life out. I'm gonna just fix up any little bumpy lines. All I'm gonna do now is color this area in. And then you can see the little bump here. I'm gonna go back in and smooth that out. When you do your wing, if your eyes are in any way hooded, do not just like do a line and boom, open your eyes fully because that's when you're gonna get a crease up here and then the drama starts, let me tell you. I always like, keep my eyes looking down like this or keep my like eyebrows pulled up so it does increase up because trust me, it has happened to me way too many times. I'm just fanning it just to kind of dry it a little quicker. And then you can open your eye and look straight ahead and see and you know, kind of look in the mirror and see if you're happy with the shape. This is definitely thicker than what I usually do, but it's all the same technique. Sometimes it goes crazy, sometimes I have little wings, sometimes I have big, huge jumbo jet wings. It just all depends. Oh, hello. Did you come in for a chat? Say hello, everybody. So 
this is Paisley who likes to literally lie like this over my shoulder. Yeah. Where are you going? Up. So now all I'm going to do is I am going to fill in this part of the liner. And I like to just do this really slowly because you want this to be quite thin. You know, you don't want like a big thick line as thick as here. So you just want this line. I try to do this as fine as possible and then I can kind of build up onto it to kind of even it all out. But I like to just get in right into the lash line first. And I kind of use the side of the liner so I can kind of like press it and almost use it like a stamp. See here we have a little bump here, we're just going to fill all that in. So it's going to go from like a real thin line out to this like thicker wing and then back in again to that point. So I'm going to show you now on this I have to do it with a pencil. I'm taking my Marc Jacobs pencil. This is in the shade Brownie. These do set on the skin so I am going to work quite quickly with this one. So I'm going to do the exact same concept that I did on this eye where I'm going to start with the wing. And I'm taking a small angled brush and I'm just going to drag this product out and basically shape the wing. And then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to drag the product back in like we did here, dragging it back into my lash line. Just whatever's left on it, there's not really that much. I'm going back in with the pen pencil, I'm going to really lightly just map out the line back into my lash line. And straight in with my brush to blend that out. And just really move the product around before it sets. And the reason why I'm using pencil that sets on the skin is because you do want it to set on the skin. Because if you use a, more of a waxy cold pencil, what's going to happen is you're going to get this beautiful shape and you're going to get your whole eye makeup done. And what's going to happen is the natural oils in your eyelid are going to come out and it's just going to move the product around. It's not going to stay sitting like a liner. So I'm just going to fill the rest of my lash line in. So there it is, all filled in along the lash line. And now I'm just gonna show you quickly how to like snatch this wing and clean it up. I'm just taking a little bit of concealer on a flat brush. And I'm just gonna run this along the base of the liner. And just drag that out towards the temple. And I'm just gonna drag the rest of the concealer down into the skin to blend it out. It's also great as well to do that if you mess up on your liner or you go too low or whatever. You can always grab a bit of like full coverage concealer and a flat brush and boom. If you do want this effect, but you find it really hard to do, do this first and map out the shape using a pencil liner and then you can go straight over it then with your black liner. It makes it so much easier then because you already have like a shape to work from. So you're basically just filling it all in. So I'm gonna quickly do this eye. So see, still gives you the exact same effect. So I hope this video was a little bit helpful. I hope you learned a few things. I hope it inspired you to keep practicing on your wing liner. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.